Hey, welcome to Five Week. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great, man. Obviously, it's been a minute since we've uh, seen you compete. So is your goal for this year to just get in as many as you can? Or what are your, what are your exact goals for the year of 2024? Main goal is to win, right? Second goal would be stay healthy. And uh, definitely want to bang out some fights. Uh, I'm not getting any younger, so I need to fucking go get this shit. You know what I mean? I need to make my run to the title, and that's, that's all I want to do. Sure, and obviously you're supposed to schedule or you're supposed to fight uh, Ikram Aliskarov this fight. Um, things didn't go that way. Now you're facing Roman Kabulov. So, how different did the approach change going into this one now? Um, same approach as always. You know what I mean? Um, work my fucking ass off. Make sure that I'm doing everything right and uh, have my coaches to guide me through this shit. Um, but obviously this guy is a striker, not a wrestler. The other guy had way more. Um, weapons I would say this guy is really fucking good kicker a good striker um, so I mean, it does change a little bit but it was the same game plan no matter what is gas the motherfucker out and drown him do you feel like as if people maybe have kind of forgotten about you and your skills since we haven't seen you in a while or I really don't know or care I mean I'm here I'm fucking healthy and it's time to remind the world you know what I mean for sure and um, back in 2022 at UFC 273 there was a Looked like you were going to face Drakus Duplessis on a, I think it was, he was coming in on a short notice or something. Didn't come into fruition, but did you ever envision that he would go on to do what he is now, obviously the champion of the middleweight division? Look, man, I don't even follow the UFC. I don't really give a fuck what anyone else is doing. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is myself and winning to get to the belt. You know what I mean? I, whatever he's doing, great for him. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll see him soon. So you're, one of those guys, you're one of those guys that doesn't really like tune in every Saturday to watch the fight nights and all that. Uh, I mean, kind of, sort of. If there's a middleweight on there, yeah, I'll tune in. Uh, my wife's a way bigger fan than I am, to be honest, so she watches it every fucking weekend. And, of course, I'm going to sit down and just watch it, you know what I mean, um, if I'm around the house. But I would definitely rather be doing anything else than watching TV. Fair enough. And uh, what's your message to everyone that's going to tune in for your fight on Saturday? Enjoy the show, motherfuckers. Thank you. Anthony here. Um, you mentioned you don't really follow the sport. Was, was that different earlier in your career? Has it always been like that? I mean, when I was like, uh, when I was 15, I used to watch like just highlight videos of people get knocked the fuck out. But uh, I had shitty internet. <laughs> like I was telling my boy I had dial up. So that shit sucked. If anyone got on a phone call or anything, it would just, you know what I mean? You got to restart the whole shit. So really just, I've been an outside, outdoor person. Um, I grew up working a lot, so. I understand how to work my ass off, you know what I mean? Um, but no, I really don't watch TV, period. Were, were you doing martial arts when you started to like look at those tapes or did that get you into it? Uh, so like the way it started for me was, uh, I honestly didn't know what MMA was. Uh, my dad like wrestled and shit and we just like always fought around the house. Like uh, <laughs> and that's kind of like, honestly I got into it doing like front yard fights with my friends, we'd fuck each other up. Didn't know the rules. We used to like knee each other in the face and stuff. And then my cousin's like, dude, you gotta check out this gym. It's an MMA gym. And I didn't know what the fuck that was, but uh, we went, I fucking fell in love with the sport and the rest is history, you know what I mean? And that's, yeah. Yeah, do you do much tape study of the opponents or do you leave that to the coaches? Um, I watch film, um, but I leave it to the coaches, you know what I mean? They're, they have that job for a reason. They're way, they got like a good eye with all the shit. Um, so I trust my team. I like always have since I was a fucking kid. And it's just follow the blueprint, you know what I mean? Follow the map, stick to the game plan. Obviously shit fucking happens sometimes in the fight and it changes, but get back to the game plan is always the plan. Yeah, just because out of curiosity, like obviously earlier in Roman's <clears throat> career, he really struggled with you know people who have your strength in these fights and he's on this four fight knockout streak now. I'm just curious if you think he's evolved tremendously since then or has he just got some friendlier matchups these past few fights? Um, man, everyone in the UFC is fucking good, right? Everyone here is, everyone's here for a reason. Um, but, like I said, um, everyone he's fought is not me. So, uh, I'm just planning on going out there and fucking drowning him. <laughs>